Jeremy, thanks so much for speaking with us today. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Let's start off by talking about uh, wealth managers in general. We are at the Geneva Wealth Tech Forum, so it's uh, apt. Uh, yeah. What are some of the, the challenges you see that are facing wealth managers at the moment? Yeah, I think they're really being squeezed from different directions, right? So, I mean, there's, I think, the increasing cost of running legacy systems and the complexity involved with those systems, um, uh, increased regulation, of course, which is, which is coming uh, more and more and, and causing com more complexity for the, for the wealth managers to stay up to date with that. Um, and at the same time, I think the, the pressure to, to innovate and to, to offer new sort of digital services to, to their customers but also I think internally for their, their internal users, their relationship managers to give them the latest tools uh, in order to attract and retain you know, the latest talent. A, a big like, talking point at forums like this as well is sort of fintech and new technology that's coming through. What are sort of some of the newer pieces of technology you're seeing and how are they impacting this, this area? This market. Well, I think I think in terms of technology, what wealth managers are now doing, what we see is, I mean, first of all, it's about um, renovating the legacy systems, moving to sort of more modern core with using automation, using straight through processing to really minimize the amount of uh, human intervention that's needed in this sort of core processing and doing their business, keeping the cost of, of doing their business down. Um, at the same time, it's about putting out, I think, new ways for that um, interaction between their customers and their relationship managers, and not necessarily, I think, forcing digital down the throat of the customer, because here we're talking you know, a lot about high net worth customers. Um, so it's more about, I think, making it more frictionless, smoothing out those interaction points, making it easy uh, for the relationship manager to stay in touch with their customer, to go through their portfolio reviews, um, proposing advice, and, and, and generally staying on top of their business in that way. Mm -hmm. and, and what sort of things can you guys do at Tomenos to, to really help? Well, in, in this area, we have a product, WealthSuite, which is really designed to meet a lot of these challenges which, uh, which wealth managers are, are now facing. So um, really providing uh, portfolio management and CRM capabilities, but in a sort of a modern, modern infrastructure as well. So with front office and back office, which can be deployed independently, but also as a combined uh, solution together, so giving them that, that capability around straight through processing and, and automation. Um, also a lot in the generation of investment advice, so um, using, using our, our tools to, to help um, relationship managers automate and, 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 and remove a lot of the sort of manual processing from the generation of, of personalized advice. Also using our goal-based investing uh, capabilities as well, which is quite a, a, a hot topic at the moment. Yeah. Um, of course, we're also um, very much focused on anywhere, anytime banking. So the ability, I think, for relationship managers to go out, meet with their customers um, and, and do portfolio reviews, place trades while out on the go. Um, and I think uh, another area talking about operational efficiency is, is, is cloud, which is really a big topic for us at the moment. A lot of the banks we work with all over the world uh, are now looking to reduce their um, operating costs and, and be more flexible, be more dynamic in the way that they, they can get innovation into their environments more quickly. Mm -hmm. And cloud is one way we can do that using either our own um, cloud environment where we manage software from A to Z or using sort of the standard um, sort of cloud providers such as the, uh, the Amazons and, and the Microsofts as well. Yeah, you mentioned uh, innovation there. I just want to finish up by asking, well, what, what do you make of uh, some, some the blockchain and new technology and crypto? Is that going to have a massive impact on, on, on what you do and, and, and the, this market in general as well, or, or do you think? And, and also how banks you're working with are able to sort of adapt to a new environment? Are they fairly good at adapting? And, and what do you think with this new technology? Yeah, and I, think it's, I think it's a good point. I think um, clearly the technological environment is moving very, very quickly. We see a lot of startups here, especially in Switzerland, a lot of wealth tech companies coming along. And really our approach towards that is, is with our marketplace concept where, you know, which allows um, interesting, innovative companies with, um, interesting offers such as in, in crypto, such as in blockchain, such as in reg tech, um, such as in digital tools for interacting with, with the customer in terms of channels, um, for them to extend and complement our core product set, giving banks um, faster access to new technology and, and helping them with their curation times and moving that whole process, those cycles, uh, making those cycles much faster. Amazing, Jeremy, thank you so much, it's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you.